Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. In this episode we're going to be taking on the Oceanside Spider House which can be located over in the Great Bay Coast in the house over there with the weird sun compass thing. I don't I don't even know what that is but they're on both houses actually. So you want to head inside this one here and it must be the first day to actually perform this side quest or you're not gonna get the major side quest item you obtain from doing all of this. But yeah, this is the Oceanside Spider House and uh, essentially if you can complete this on the first day slash night you will get the Giant's Wallet which will give you up to, you will, technically you can hold up to 500 rupees, so that's what you're going to be getting out of it. And yeah, to enter this place, you must explode that uh, cracked wall, which, I mean, should have been obvious. It's not like we solved some certain puzzle, because, I mean, look at this place. It's like, oh, okay, so this is a spider house. It's really going to be this small of a room. No, there's a whole freaking basement to it, and it's huge down here, but yeah. This is actually a really easy place, much easier than uh, the freaking other spider house, which was the swamp spider house, and that's because you have the hookshot. Now, you need the hookshot to actually do this, unlike uh, in the swamp spider house where you don't need the hookshot, but it's a lot easier if you do have it. Uh, but in this place, you need it, and all you need to do is find all the spiders and easily kill them and pick them up. So, yeah, it's not that hard. You just want to pay attention to the sound it makes, and if you hear it in a certain room, then you know there's one in there. If you don't hear it, then you're good, you're golden, you have collected all of them. So, yeah, I really like this area. I think it's really freaking cool, and it's really well lit in this version of the game. It actually looks amazing. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite, like, mini side quests within the game, because it's so nice and relaxing. It's just cool to, like, go on a nice... Skulltula hunt for a bunch of Skulltulas. I don't know why I enjoy collecting things. It's just my forte. I mean, I always found myself really enjoying collect-a-thon type games and just always rewarding to do so, like collecting a bunch of things. I don't know why, but it is. So, yeah. Just go ahead and burn all of these webs, though, so we have nothing stopping us. And one right over here. Man, this place looks so nice in the remake, because, I mean... Yeah, in the original N64 version, it was a lot darker and gave it a much eerier feel and felt like a haunted house almost, but eh, this place is pretty haunted, I guess. I mean, at least it seems like it, but did we get this one? Yeah, I believe we did. Okay, so I think we got all of the ones within this floor right now, so let's go ahead and enter this room and collect whatever is in the library, and yes, there is a library here in this mansion-like place. It's not really a mansion, I guess, because... This is all like a basement. Maybe a base, a mansion located in a basement. I don't know. It doesn't really make much sense. Okay. Whatever. Go ahead and put on your amazing freaking Skull Kita hat, which is the captain's hat. And you can speak to the stealth childs that are in this area. I guess Skull Kita sent them to investigate this house. So, ha, ha, Captain Sir, it's been a long time since we've seen you. As you have ordered, sir, we are investigating the secrets of this place. Yeah, you guys suck. You've been investigating for many, many years. The fact that we're all dead, so yeah. But according to the information I have obtained, it seems Spade should be shot first. What he means by Spade is, look at the color of the text, Spade. Yes, it's blue. Um, there are going to be masks we're going to have to hit in certain orders, so you want to make sure you take out your pen and pencil. Uh, I don't know why you need both of them, but you want to make sure you write this stuff down, I guess and uh, know which order you're going to be hitting certain masks to get a piece of heart within this house. But I believe I have it memorized, so I'm not really going to worry about what they tell me because I know which order I need to hit these specific masks that will give me the piece of heart, so I should be good. But if you do want to know how to learn the certain, uh, what is it, pattern of hitting said masks for said piece of heart, is to talk to all of the Stell Childs with Skullkita and have them give you the information. So, yeah, if you want to roll that way, go ahead and do so. I guess I will talk to some of them because there's another one over here on this desk. He's not really studying or anything. He's literally doing nothing. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder, I wonder if I walk up to him without the mask. Dang it. Okay, well, I fell. doesn't matter, though. I'll come back for that one later. Let's just go ahead and push this giant bookshelf for another two freaking yeah skull spirits 
we're already almost done with this. We're almost halfway in. But, yeah, Captain Stewart, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, club. And club is highlighted in green, so that should be shot six. Yes, you have fulfilled your duties. Go ahead and die forever now. Now you can perish, my friend. Nice. All right. Now let's go ahead and climb up this and get access to this area because I need to align myself here so I can actually hit this gold skull tower. These are a lot easier to see because in the N64 version this was a literally black hole and you couldn't really make out what was inside of it unless you saw the skull tower. This version is just a whole lot more well lit. It's crazy how well everything is well lit. Every single temple is just much better lit and like, the lighting is just overall better, of course, and you can't really tell. Like, it doesn't seem like it's too bright, it just seems better. But yeah, this room is completely silent now, so we know we have collected all of the gold skull clothes within this room, and we may advance. Uh, yeah, back to, you know, everything being well lit. It's just, just so nice. So, yeah, that's all I actually have to say about it. So, now I will shut up about the amazing lighting they added within this remake and continue slaying the spiders left and right, so... Gonna burn this because I believe there is one hiding in this jar. No, okay, never mind. There was not. It's pretty lame. And oh no, a black bow! Looks like it split into several black bows. But, okay, there's one in here. Kind of know which jar they're hiding in because it doesn't have a top on it. So obviously they can fly out. But go ahead and hit this. Obviously, you need your fire arrows for this one as well, which you should already have if you're at Great Bay because you would have. Stone, Snowhead. Keep on saying Stonehead. <laughs> Doesn't make much sense, but yeah. I'm gonna pick up this guy. Let's see. Anyone else in this room? Hmm. I can hear something. Maybe it's up here? I doubt it. Yeah, it's not here. It must be located over here. Come out. Yes. Alright, that should be all of them in this room. Yep. Wow, this is actually a really freaking easy area. We're almost done with this. Um, so much easier than the swamp one. And that's only because... No, the swamp one overall was more difficult even if we had the hook shot because it was a lot harder to find. It was a lot bigger and everything. But let's take a second to look at this room. Yeah, a lot of things are covered, which gives it a really creepy mansion-like feel to it. I don't know why I think of mansion when I think of this place. Maybe because I'm thinking of Luigi's Mansion in some sort of way. But, ah, uh, just, it's amazing overall. There's another one hiding here. Let's go ahead and hit him. And then, let's see, that's our 21st. It should be one right here, yep. And then we'll have 23 by the time we leave this room. Or maybe 24, actually. Uh, we shall see. I'm trying to think if I skipped any down here, but I do know there is one hiding right here. If I can roll into this barrel. There we go. Alright. Now, yep, I still hear scratching in this room, so there is another one. I just need to figure out where it's hiding. Um, come out. Wherever you are. I will find you and I will kill you. I believe it's, oh, okay, yep, it is up here. Right, so it's not really hard to find. It's actually super easy to find all of them. Adding on the fact that you have the hook shot and you don't have to work on, you know, elevating your way up to pick them up. She makes it way too easy. But this is the last room. And this is going to house the final six within this mansion, place, house, whatever. Who cares? I don't know why I feel like calling it mansion so much. But, okay, first thing you want to do is just... Jump on the table and ruin the party for everybody by having three fall down from the chandelier. Now we can speak to these guys and they're all going to tell us which other masks we have to hit in which order. So he's going to tell us the secret thing. Okay, so it seems heart should be shot fifth. Alright, you have fulfilled your duties. Now we have to speak to the rest of them. Or I can kill them all and do it my way. I'm going to do that instead. Just going to take our normal arrows so I don't waste magic doing this. And then, actually, can I hit it with my... No, you can't. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and do blue, red, and then, I believe, orange, green. And once you hit all of them, you just want to head back to red and head all the way to the opposite side and hit green. And that does it. Yeah. Still pretty easy. I mean, you can talk to them, but I had it memorized, so I don't really see a point in talking to them one by one. But, there we go. Another freaking two. 
It's gonna be one over here. One right behind us, which is in between this. I could take out my fire arrows, but I'm too lazy. I'm just gonna wait for it to come out like this. Come on, hit it before it hides on us. Hit it. Dang it. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up this guy. And also pick up this guy. Wait. <clears throat> There we go. So the last three are pretty much in front of us. One, two, and uh, it's gonna take out our fire arrows because this freaking skull is gonna hide behind the freaking webs. I wonder if they're the ones that make the webs. I mean, they should be because they're spiders. So yeah. But the curse is now lifted. What curse? I don't know because you're gonna notice that we're not really saving someone from a curse like we did in the swamp spider house. It's actually a little different this time around. It's gonna kill this bad boy and whoa! It's a really cool looking chandelier thing. I don't glass. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's really nice. This whole area, this domey feel it has because the way it's shaped is super epic and it has a chest. Now you may think, oh my god, am I getting the Spider-Man mask? I could be Spider-Man and, you know, jump around. No, you just get a piece of heart, so. <sighs> you know, I really wanted that Spider-Man mask, but no one's getting it, I guess. And that, my friends, is another Spider-House mystery. Yeah! Right now we can leave this area since we got the piece of heart. We got the... The masks? Or the, the what? The, the, all of the 30... Gold skull clothes. So we're done with everything here. Wow, it was a really short area. A little over 10 minutes, maybe? I don't know. Overall, really easy. I expected it to be this short because they're not hard to find at all. So, yeah. But it's fun. You know, it's just a fun little mini side quest to do. It's really cool. I don't know. Let me know if you guys had trouble doing this. But let's go ahead and now roll up. And like I said, this has to be done on the day or night of the first day. It must be done on the first day either way or this guy isn't going to come looking for a house to hide in. But yeah, you're going to find this guy who randomly comes once the curse is lifted. I guess now he sees the house. Maybe the curse was the house was invisible to everyone but us. But I thought I heard some loud noises inside and I came in to check it out. This place is some sort of underground shelter. Did you find this place? I beg you, let me have this place. Not for free, of course. I hope this will do. Okay, a giant wallet. We can hold it 500 rupees. Sweet, but there's no cash in it. So he gives us... What kind of tease is that? Like, oh, here's a wallet that holds up to 500 rupees, but it's not like I'm going to store it with 500 rupees. You just get it like that. You know what? You suck, man. Do you have anything else to say? I thought I heard... Okay, you're just going to say what you said before. All right, well, that does it for the s ocean side. I was going to say swamp. I know the ocean side spider house. Pretty easy, pretty fun. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode by teleporting out of here. That's not teleporting. I'm going to go ahead and teleport back to Clock Town. And in the next episode, we're going to start working our way to Akana Canyon. So thank you all so much for watching. I've been Zelda Master. And I'll see you all in the next one.